Reciprocal altruism is a behavior where one organism helps another, expecting that the favor will be returned in the future. It's a bit like a, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours system in the natural world. Imagine two animals in the wild. One animal helps another by sharing food or providing protection. The helper does this with the expectation that the other animal will help them in return when they need it. This cooperation benefits both animals and increases their chances of survival. Now let's dive into some examples to make this concept clearer. One well-known example is the relationship between vampire bats. Vampire bats need to eat almost every night. If they don't, they can die. Sometimes a bat doesn't find any food. In such cases, another bat that has fed will share some of its meal by regurgitating blood. This is a form of reciprocal altruism. The bat that shares today expects that if it ever misses a meal, another bat will share with it. This behavior helps ensure the survival of the colony. Another example can be found in cleaner fish and their hosts. Cleaner fish eat parasites and dead skin off larger fish. The larger fish get cleaned and stay healthy, while the cleaner fish get a meal. If the cleaner fish do a good job, the larger fish are more likely to let them keep cleaning and even protect them from predators. Both benefit from this reciprocal relationship. Humans also practice reciprocal altruism. Think about how we often help each other in times of need. When a neighbor helps you move furniture, you're likely to help them in the future. This mutual aid strengthens social bonds and builds trust within communities. Reciprocal altruism can even be seen in acts of kindness between strangers. For instance, when someone holds the door open for you, you might be more likely to do the same for someone else. These small acts build a culture of cooperation and trust. The key to reciprocal altruism is the expectation of future help. This means that the individuals involved need to recognize and remember each other. In nature, this often happens in species that live in stable social groups where individuals interact frequently. Trust and reputation play crucial roles. If an individual doesn't return a favor, they might not receive help in the future.